question. Uh, like, is it necessary to follow uh, like a scholar of my own country? If I find that the opinion of a scholar from a different country is sound one, can I follow the opinion of that scholar instead of the scholar of, from my nation? Okay. Am I allowed to do so? Got yeah, your question. A Muslim is required to follow the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and what he explained. If I don't have this capacity and I cannot differentiate between a sound hadith and a weak hadith, so the local imam in my masjid will do that on my behalf and I'm not blameworthy. Nowadays with the widespread of the use of the internet, people happen to have an access to present questions and receive an answer provided with the adequate evidences. And it tells you what is sound and what is more sound and what is fabricated and so on. After knowing what is more sound, I as a Muslim should choose what is more sound. Even if we have two opinions, but one of them is more sound. I should follow what I believe is more sound that is more pleasing to the Almighty Allah. We as Muslims must understand that all the Imams, beginning with the greatest Imam, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, he was born on the year 80 after the migration of the Prophet So one should ask himself a question, 80 years or 100 years before that, the Sahaba and at tabiin and their followers, how were they worshiping Allah the Almighty? Did they know halal and haram or everybody waited for the imams to come with their imam Abu Hanifa or Shafi'i or Malik or... No, they knew. The four imams and their schools of thoughts, they compiled the hadith and the opinions and they established a school of thought and they all agreed. If you find a different opinion supported with a sound hadith, then forget about my opinion because my opinion now has become the opinion which is provided or supported with the sound reference. So if you have an access akhi, to know uh, a more correct view, follow it regardless whether the scholar is of your own town or from abroad, an Arab or non-Arab, your madhab or a different madhab.